hello and welcome in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create file .txt files using the command prompt so in this case i'm going to open the command prompt cmd and i'll click on run as administrator to open the command prompt so let me go to, over to the desktop and and in the desktop I already created a folder known as sample which is presently empty as you can see the sample folder is empty so I'll cd over to the sample folder and now I'm in the sample folder so in order to check the contents use the there and you will see that the folder is empty okay so now let's create a file in this folder in order to create files there are many ways to do it but i'm going to show you two main ways so the first is by using the echo command and writing content directly into the file so in this case we don't have any file so let's create one by writing a content into it directly so we are going to say echo um, this is a good tutorial okay and now we are going to use the direct symbol to send it into a file known as file one.txt so as you can see we use the echo command to write this text and we directed it to a file known as file1.txt in this case we don't have any file which is called file1.txt so the system is going to create a file for us which is file1.txt and put in text into it so here you will see we have file1.txt and once we open it you will see this is a good tutorial so we have created a file and the contents which we wrote has been put in the file so that is the first way to create a file the second way to create is using the type command so in this case we can create a file without putting anything into it so we will say type and we want the file to be empty so we will say null which means we don't want anything to be in the file and we will give the name file 2.txt so the file has been created so if you come into sample you will now see here that we have file 2.txt let me make the view large okay okay so we now have file 2.txt so we have two files and in this case you will see that file 2.txt is empty but we can write content into it using the echo so we can say echo and we say um, this this paragraph is for file 2 this paragraph for file 2 and we direct it to file 2.txt enter so you see this paragraph is for file 2 so we are directing this text to file 2.txt so in this case since we already have file 2 created the content is going to write in file 2 which says this paragraph is for file 2 so you see that's it so now in order to display the contents of the file we are going to use the type command so we say type I want to display the contents of file 2 so we'll just type and the name of the file file 2.txt and you'll see it says this paragraph is for file 2 so to display the contents you use the type command and the name of the file so in this case type file 2.txt and this is the content so that said we have created the file so now to delete the file is simple we just use the del command so del del and the name of the file in this case we want to delete file one so we just say del file 
1.txt and we press enter so when you come over you will see that file 1 is no longer there so let's delete file 2 let me put it here so you can see so that is file 2 so let's delete file 2 so we'll say del file2.txt and you will see it disappeared so that is how you can create and delete a txt file it, it it's not only a txt file but any file of your of your choice maybe a dot c file a dot java file or any kind of file or let me just create it for you let me just show you in this case i want to create a java file so i'll just say type type null i want it to be empty and i want the name to be hello.java and that's it that's we created so let me create a second one type and this this time i want it to be a c file so i will say hello.c okay so if you come here into the sample folder you will see i have a java file and i have a c file so that is how you can create files using command prompt on windows thank you very much for watching and if you like videos like this make sure to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on further videos and also hit the like button